Hi Virgo, this is Michelle with Angel Souls and this is your April 2014 Angel Oracle Card Reading and I am going to be using the Archangel Michael Oracle Card Deck by Doreen Virtue. So let's see what we have going for you for April. They want you to release the worry. Ha ha! A Virgo worry? No. Alright guys. First card up we have is <laughs> let go of fear now. <laughs> we mean it, okay? <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, I definitely heard that and then the card came up. Um, no, I didn't plan that. I swear I didn't. Uh, let go of your fears, guys, okay? The fears are only going to get you swirling and get that negativity pumping and then it just makes things worse. It drains you and actually... Um, it's like self-fulfilling prophecies kinds of things. Like if you really fear that something like bad is going to happen, then you might pull it into your existence. Let it go. All right. This is a good time to be meditating with Archangel Michael. How many times do I say this? Cord cutting. You knew that was coming though, right? So make sure that you are doing your meditations all through April. There might be a lot of tensions going on in the world and some things really rocking and, and, altering the world. Don't pump your fear into it. Let it go. Now, does that mean you don't care about anybody who's being affected by this? Absolutely not. This is where you get into that nice, quiet, pure space and you're sending loving, healing energy um, in that direction. Okay. Watch complaining too. Okay. Interesting. Um, they're saying no petitions, no kind of, this isn't the month to go, rah, I'm going to make change and blah, blah, blah. The world is too sensitive right now, at least for this month, okay, for that kind of stuff. So save it for later. They, But they just feel like the negativity around that, especially I guess some of you in the approach that you would be taking, um, it might not really be helping the cause kind of thing. Okay, guys, so just um, hang tight on any kind of petitions or fights or, do you know what I mean, like standing up for the common good kind of thing. Just hang tight. All right, what do we got here? Let go of fear. Believe and trust. Believe and trust. Believe and, and trust yourself. You know, we of course, there's the regular meaning of trust God, trust the angels. They're there to help you, all that good stuff. But this is you needing to take your strength back. Okay, or find your strength, find your inner strength. Yeah, they're saying you, you know better than, than you give your, yourselves credit for. Right? So, um, mm -hmm. trust in your instincts. Yeah, not letting people walk all over you this month. Yeah, because what's going to happen is this tension might get to you a little bit and, um, in the world kind of thing. And as much as you're trying to let go of the fear and trying to like not let it bother you, it might make you short tempered or um, people might misread you or whatever. You're going to be acting out in, in a way. So believe and trust that everything is going to be okay. Believe and trust your instincts. All right. So let that be your guide. Let that be your compass. They're right there with you. They're guiding you towards things that can help you release fears. Now, some of you, they're telling me to mention people who are going through divorces. Um, if you're grieving or you're going through something that's like life altering. Um, of course, Azrael is always there to help you through the grieving. Mm -hmm. Stop. Okay, they're going back to the divorce thing. Stop making yourselves victims. This came up for another sign too. So this must be like a big uh, thing for this month. It's not poor me, poor me. Because when you're a victim, you're giving your power away. Someone needs to hear that. And don't play the blame game. All right? So whoever's having, like for somebody, it's like divorcees. <laughs> um, or people going through that kind of, kind of thing this month. Um, but also in business, you know, if you have a business partner or whatever and you're not seeing eye to eye, watch playing the blame game. Just really step back from the situation. Try to see it from all sides. There's something that, that needs to kind of be, um, that needs to be addressed, all right? And it will come to the surface. Now, whether it turns out okay or not, it's up to you. What are you going to do with it? Are, are you going to make it worse or are you going to try to help it? Okay? It's that kind of thing. 
Let's see here. Two more cards. Shield yourself. This came up for another sign. Shield yourself from the negative news that you're going to be seeing in the media. Okay. Um, yeah, not everything has to be taken into your energetic body. That doesn't help anybody. Okay. Um, controlling things doesn't help anything, you know, or being controlling over things. Um, Mm -hmm. Well, Michael's just coming in and saying, um, in order to relieve some of that anxiety and some of that pressure with things that are going on in your own life and what's going on in the world, ask Michael to come in and not only clean and shield your, or clean out your energy, but to shield you with his healing blue light and his protective blue light. Um, and some people see that as the blue cloak of protection. So you can also do that as well. And let's get a final card going here. Honor and trust your feelings. Isn't that what we were just saying? Tap into your intuition. You know when it's time to act. And this is not the time this month to act. And you'll feel it. You'll feel it in your gut. Trust that. Okay? So if somebody comes along and, you know, we'll just keep on with that example with the, um, like a petition or something like that. And somebody wants you to go on change.org and, and start something and they put you in charge of it. And you're feeling like, no, this is not the right time to be doing this. There's already so much going on, hang back, whatever. You know, fight back a little bit. Speak up for yourself. What are you guys showing me? They're showing me a Merkaba in the artwork. I don't know if you can see that. And it's right at the uh, kind of like heart and solar plexus. All right. Oh, okay. So keeping your etheric body in good shape. How about that, huh? <laughs> so actually, these these are uh, Archangel Michael cards, but you can also call upon Archangel Metatron to come in and, and use his um, geometric shapes to kind of come in and clear your chakras. This is going to be really important for you this month, okay? What happens when you keep your chakras cleared? The anxiety falls away, all right? And it's a big thing for you guys. You, you need to do more about that to keep yourself um, in a peaceful place and, 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 and getting yourself down that road where you can find inner peace. Okay, guys? So I know these are a little bit short this month, but those are the messages. Nice, clean, to the point. Anyway, there we go. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.